Hello everybody, welcome, my name is Richard and this behind me is the Tesla Model Y without parking sensors. So no physical parking sensors in the bumper. Now this isn't a new thing, they've been out for about 10 months now in this country where Model 3 and Model Y don't have physical parking sensors, they remove them and instead we have Tesla Vision so it relies on the camera to simulate distances from objects and help you with parking. Now when we tested this before, and you see that in a previous video, it was a little bit flaky in what it would detect and how far away you were from objects. But being a tester, there's always software updates which will improve various functions. This now is 10 months later, this is a Model Y, no parking sensors on the latest software version. Is it going to be better? Let's find out. So by December 2022, the cars were arriving without these parking sensors. We're now in September 2023, so a solid nine, 10 months have gone past. And this car here has got its software up to date and it's on version 11.1. .1. So like before, we're filming a, a few different scenarios just to try and replicate different situations you might come across when you're parking. And I've also got this Tesla Model Y, this Tesla Model Y, which do have parking sensors. So again, we can put you in a comparison that is this using the vision and the parking sensors? We think so. Is that better than just vision alone? We'll find out. And let's start off with just parking the car in this gap here. Nice big spacious gap. And we'll get an idea of how it's uh, visualizing that on the screen and the measurements it's giving us and see how accurate those measurements are. So this should be really quite simple. One slight curveball. There's a pillar there. Is it going to spot that? Because I think a flat wall will be easy, but will it spot that pillar? Let's find out. Okay, this should be an easy enough parking space. So. Let's come around here. So as ever, really nice cameras on a Tesla, of course. Uh, always been good. So I'm coming quite close to that car on the left, uh, which is showing here. That's good. And so we're getting in line. Now we're parking at a slight angle in here at the moment. So it's simulating here each side the cars. That's okay. I've got quite a big gap here. This is plenty of room. Now here we are. The beeping started. 20, so let's go, it says stop. Now it's looking like more of a flat wall there. Oh, there's the pillar perhaps. So it's saying I'm 15 inches from the back there. Let's have a quick look at that. Is this 15 inches? I think that's about right actually, to be fair. Yeah, I'll go with that. But now I'm gonna deliberately go straight backwards against that wall, that pillar. It says stop. I've got a good view of it here. Uh, is it going to give me any distance? No, it's saying stop. Let's go back a little bit more. I mean, it's saying stop the whole time, which is probably fair enough. Ah, 12 inches. Stop again. It's not going to any other measurements now. So you can see the visual here. Now, I'm actually a different angle to the cars next to me. Uh, here, the visual showing similar uh, albeit a bit more of a straight line than these cars but that's not too bad now let's go forwards now so i've now gone forwards up towards this mini and the car says i've got 27 28 33 34 inches but it feels pretty close to me let's have a look right so you can see here that 20 it's settling around 22 inches let's have a look <laughs> That's not 22 inches, is it? No. no. <laughs> it's about two inches. <laughs> I mean, I'll go back and forward to see if it gives me a chance. All right. So let's just try this again. So there's that car in front. I'm maneuvering around a car park. Let's have a look. So this says I, it's going forward is fine. I feel pretty close. You'll say, is that stop? Oh, this isn't, uh, just flashed up 33 inches. I've got loads of room. I've got loads, loads of room in front of me. It's, there's 33 inches. <laughs> Just about put my hand in there. I'm going to reverse up to this Model 3. Okay, so again, tight car park, manoeuvring around. Now it's telling me to stop, and I can see, the thing is I can see on the camera on this one, so I'm like, yeah, okay, that seems pretty close. So stop, and I can see on the camera where I am. So, so the rear one seems okay. There's a camera pointing straight down and can probably use that to gauge the distance pretty well. 
The front camera, however, without the parking sensors, doesn't really seem to pick up the distance from another car, as we've just seen. I wouldn't trust this at all for that situation. Now, I'm going to jump in a car which, in a minute, does have the parking sensors and see if that improves it. But let's carry on with the tests on this first, and then we'll see how that compares. Okay, now, Serge is standing in the middle. He's going to trust me to drive up close to him. You pretend you're facing the other way. Yeah, I dare you to close your eyes. It's showing you're there, but it doesn't say stop. I can go forward. I've just got, oh, there we go. Uh, it's gone yellow and I've got 25, 22, 23 inches. <laughs> no, no, I've got 20 inches still. I can still keep going. <laughs> okay. That doesn't work so well. Uh, what if there's two of you? Jaden, let's have another volunteer. So one person is a bit flaky. Let's see if there's a crowd. I'm going to drive up towards a crowd. This could be trees or something like that. Can... Oh, I said stop now. I was picking up on this side. So Jaden, it's got you. <laughs> no, it doesn't like, it doesn't pick up surge. I... Well, I mean, there's a person there, but it, it shows you. You're picking up all right. Why doesn't it show surge? So you're touching, like it's red, it's touching, yeah. so stop. When you, if you walk backwards now, so I won't move. You walk backwards. It's still showing the visual that there's a red line right there. Surge is, it just isn't a thing. <laughs> uh, all three of you, all three of you. Ready? I'm going to move around. Let's try emergency stop. Oh, it's warning me. It gave me a warning, pedestrian warning. Okay, but I'm going to carry on driving now. Again, all the visual implies that on the right hand side there's an object. So if there was like a tree stump or something there, then it probably wouldn't get that. It says stop now. Let's take it outside. Let's try a bin. Okay, one wheelie bin. Let's see. No problem according to the car. There's nothing there according to the car. Oh, there's a, there's a very faint white line. Oh, now it's 33 inches, 34 inches. So it's sort of picking something up. I'll go back and forth a couple of times and see what it picks up. Because maybe the visuals will remember it, but that's not the point really, is it? Oh, that said stop. And now I'm 20 inches from the bin. How far am I from the bin? It's not that convincing. Is that 26 inches? The car's not really, it, it wore me 36 inches and it's gone now. There's a little yellow, faint yellow line. So I wouldn't really trust the bin challenge very much. Nah, nothing. Now the back's not such much of an issue because I've got really good cameras. But this is telling me, oh, it came up. Is that 14 inches? Stop, yeah, it says stop. So the back's fine again, it's the front. Let's say you're parking in a car park and there's a tree stump or maybe you've got a tree stump in your driveway or a big rock. Let's see if it picks that up. So. So I just moved a tree stump, all by himself. Look, oh, he's made his hands dirty. <laughs> okay. Now you got to tell me to stop if I'm getting too close, because I now I now can't see that. So from here, I can't see that tree stump. I would rely entirely on the car. So I don't know where. Say stop. The car's got nothing. No, the car's got nothing. It is relying on the. It's relying on the cameras. It's not seeing a thing. And I can't see it either. So that's a crucial time where I'd want this to be working. You know, I'm in a car park and I can't see that at all. And neither can the car. There's no warning in the car. Now, I'd be interested to see the parking sensor car does pick it up. Okay, a final test for this one. Wire fence. So that, uh, going in through here is fine. It's got these walls. That's okay. Let's, let's try this wire fence. I think so just reverse for a truck now. 
Oh, it says stop. Yeah, 25, 20 inches, 30 inches. Now it's gone. Now, is it because there's a sign on this bit of fence that's helping it? Okay, let's go to where Gintz is. Yeah, come towards you again. So let's say there's a bit of fence there. There is, there is a bit of line. There's a little bit of orange line just coming across the front. Yeah, sort of, but there's no beeping at me at the moment. You think it'd be going like, do 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 Doesn't work like that, does it? Really? So it's sort of picking it up, but I wouldn't say reliably so. Okay, will the rear camera pick up the fence? So stop. So the rear camera again, that seems to be okay. So my conclusion, without parking sensors, the back seems okay, but the front just isn't picking up on objects, especially if it's low down, which is where you want it to pick up. So what I'd like to think is that the cars that have parking sensors still use the parking sensors and would pick up on things like the people or the log slightly better. Let's go and find out. So this is the car with parking sensors, just a slightly earlier car, otherwise much the same. You can tell this one's got different wheels to it, but that won't make a difference here. Uh, let's start off with the generic parking space. Let's go back here and have a look up against the wall. Sun the wall, visuals look good. And I've got 12 inches, one foot. Yeah, again, yeah, fine at the back, I can see stuff. I'll go towards the pillar, see what it picks up there. Because so the pillar's sticking out more than the rest of the wall. And it's telling me, it's telling me to stop there. The graphic does show it's a bit closer on the left than the right, but not quite a sort of clear pillar shape, which I expect, but it does show that it's closer and it does say stop. So that's good you can ask for. Okay, let's drive towards a mini. So if the test of vision doesn't pick up this car, then hopefully the sensors do. Oh, and that says 14 inches. Stop. Yep, so that's working. Yep, cool. Let's just test it wasn't a fluke. Do it against another one. Again, bing, 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 and it says stop. So it's showing that, that seems good. So to sort of test that the sensors are actually working and operational, we can actually use your put your ear to it and hear it. And sometimes you can hear a clicking noise, although this time it's more like a sort of, it sounds more like a buzzing noise. Some sensors you can hear them clicking, but let's put the microphone right up close. Did you pick up anything on that? Yeah. If I move it to here, is it fine? Yeah, so these parking sensors are being used, presumably as well as the Tesla Vision. Okay, and it's proven the point that it actually works, because it stops me with the Tesla Vision car didn't driving up to this Mini. Okay, now it's just started pouring with rain, but let's bring the wheelie bin inside and we'll do the person and wheelie bin test in here. Okay, let's test the wheelie bin. Car with parking sensors is picking it up. And it tells me to stop. About right? Yeah. So if I go to here, 28 inches, 12 inches, one foot. Is that about that? Looks about it from here. If there's a red line and it's showing it on the visual, no problem. Let's just try it at different stages. Let's say it's by the corner here. That says stop. Yeah, I mean, it's picking it up each time. That says stop. Yeah. So the car with the parking sensors does work for the front objects. It's a pass. It'd be better to wait for it to stop raining, wouldn't it? Yeah. I remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, with the car with the parking sensors, stop me from driving into a log. So I'm at the point now where I can't see it. 
Ah, uh, but the car's got a graphic. Yep, 22 inches. Tell me to stop if I've got to stop. It's getting further away now. <laughs> and now it's gone from the visual. So it did work initially. So now I can see it. Again, it is beeping at me and it says I'm 18 inches from something, 12 inches. Am I 12 inches from that, one foot? <laughs> well, more than 12, like something. And now it's disappeared. Uh, am I gonna hit it? And oh, now it's showing something again. It says stop, it is showing it. I mean, it's sort of having trouble, but at least it's doing something. The other car did nothing. So at least I'd have a warning about it. Yeah, it does beep, but it's all, it's a bit intermittent. But it is seeing it each time, even at different angles. It'll give me a chance to stop. That says stop, 14 inches. Okay, the rain has stopped. Let's see if this car picks up the fence a bit better because it has parking sensors. Yep, yep, it's got it, yep. Stop. There we go. That says stop. And it's red. Okay, let's try the bit there without the sign because the one without parking sensors was a bit better there, but I think it's because of that sign on the fence. So let's try just over here. And there is a little sign at the top there, but everyone didn't really pick this one up. 20 inches. Stop. Yeah. It says stop. This one seems to work every time, to be honest. And the graphic is kind of consistent. So stop. Yeah, the graphic's good, consistent. So the sensors are picking up on the fence. Does the car parking sensors pick up a person better? Serge was invisible last time. You look worried, Serge. Don't be worried. It's fine. Stop. Is about right? Yeah. You never thought you'd be doing this today. I can't see you, so I've got no idea where to stop. <laughs> oh, it does come up. 25 inches from you. Am I 25 inches from running Serge over? It says 22 inches now, and I feel like, I mean, I can't see you at all. That doesn't show anything. <laughs> Your head isn't enough. Oh no, 13 inches. There you go, it says stop now. You're there, you're there. So, Tesla Vision without front parking sensors. Okay, reversing, fine. At the front, it's a bit flaky, and you've got to be really, really careful not to hit anything, run anything over, or kill anybody. So, I guess ultimately it comes down to the fact that with parking sensors, they still work, still does a better job. It's the preference. I can get where Tesla are going with this stuff and you can see it should get better, but really in the last 10 months, it should have got better by now. And even without parking sensors, it should be able to see the fact you're driving up to something quite large, including minis and wheelie bins. If it couldn't see a tree stump, well, that's not ideal. You could sort of understand why, but it's still, it's car with parking sensors can do it. So if you don't want to, damage your front bumper, run over people, crash into other cars, parking sensors are better. If you don't have parking sensors, just be very careful. Now it is interesting to note that the Model 3 Highland is due to have a camera at the front. That will probably then improve things. Of course it will, it's got a better visual for this lower down area. In the meantime, lots of people have got Model 3s, Model Ys without a front camera down here and therefore run the risk of damaging the front bumper and driving into things and hurting people, which isn't ideal. So, hope that's been useful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Stay subscribed.